Okay, everybody, in this video, I'm going to put some enchantment in my enhanced legendary Ursine armor. Now, I don't know if it's going to carry over to my superior Ursine armor or my master crafted, much less the Grandmaster Ursine armor that I'm going to take on Detlap and Aridin with. But I'll tell you what. This is a good start, because I'm going to see the Rune Master and I want to enchant my Naval Depletion. I'm going to need 17, 18 Lesser Glyphs of Art, two Lesser Glyphs of Axie, and one Lesser Glyph of Replenishment. No big deal, but the Ard, he does not have. So what am I going to do? Too easy. It's so easy, it's ridiculous. All you have to do is fast travel off map and come back, and his whole inventory will be changed, usually to your advantage. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to go to uh, Vizima, and I'm not even going to see anybody there. I'm just going to fast travel there, then I'm going to fast travel back. So I'm going to say adieu to this guy, and I'll be right back go. shortly. You don't need to pass no time. You don't need to do anything. So what I'm going to do, I'm heading to the salt, and I'll be right back. Okay? That's all i got to do is stay and get new inventory. So all I do is fast travel to Vizima or anywhere else on the map, go back, and I'm like, I don't know where they came from, but he has more than enough lesser glyphs of art. I'm going to load up on him, bought 17 of them, cost me almost 20,000 crowns. He is expensive. And now I can load up Depletion. Depletion is my new enchantment in my earth sign armor. And I'm going to be the baddest deep freeze mutation witcher on my I proceed to go to the southwest side of Belen, southwest corner. Plenty of bandit camps there. I'm not trying to fight them. They'll put a hurting on me. I'm just seeing what it does to them. What it literally does, it takes away their ability to fight. This depletion is an awesome enchantment. So why don't I go to another camp, the tight one, a little bit farther east. Here I'm going to try it again on multiple, but when you get to Tucson, they're going to be in big crowds after you, the bandits. Notice how wide, how strong it is. But literally, the ones I froze just lost the ability to fight. They're alive, their vitality's there. But notice two hits does not kill them. One hit of R will take away 50% vitality. Two hits doesn't kill them. It takes away their ability to fight. So I'm just smacking everybody. I'm having a ball because I'm literally, for the first time in my six years of playing this game, I'm using the mutation and the Rune Master in unison. So I'm pretty happy here and I'm impressed with what I'm seeing. They can't fight. You'd think I was an easy level. I'm playing normal difficulty. This is crazy. So I'm only enhanced legendary armor. When I get Grandmaster legendary, I will be a beast. All right, here at the third bandit camp, I'm really starting to like this build. I like the depletion enchantment the Rune Master gave me. Because by hitting with art, it just takes away their ability to fight. What I'm doing here, I'm preparing for level 100. I want to get to Susan and tear up the hands bases. Now I've seen on the internet that the deep freeze build's awesome, but I guarantee you, no other creator is taking the mutation and added the Rune Master to it. It's my first time in six years doing this. So stay ready and look forward to me as the legendary Grandmaster, Ursine Armor, equipped with the deep freeze and the mutation depletion. I will be the apex deep freeze witcher in the game. And I challenge any other creator to beat me to it. Because there's nobody else that knows this. It took me six years just to figure it out. See you guys and girls in the next video.